Now, check this out, man. Listen, when I seen this video, I think they cost $25,000. I went up to the Tesla dealership to look at the Cybertruck, which I love, right? It gives you that, you know, 20, 30 years out kind of vehicle feeling. You know, it's a lot of hate. I can understand. Like I said, that's like when an automobile came, a Model T or something like that came into like a little village somewhere in the Midwest or something like that. And they still had horses. They was like, what is this? And the guy in the Model T said, this is the future. And they'd be like, hell no, nah, I like my horse. I talk to my horse. My horse keep me warm at night. Fast forward, no more horses, all cars. It's going to happen. It's inevitable. So check this out. I'm going to cut the music. Okay. Now, just look. Look at the way this thing walks. Come on. It got shocks in its legs. Now, that walk is kind of it's, it's kind of whack. It's kind of whack. But look at the balance. I can't even do that. I can't do that. That's crazy. It's like it's like it's saying my hands. I got fingers. The egg test is a beautiful thing. If you listen to this, you know, go to my uh, uh, YouTube channel, LR Pod Live on YouTube. You can see this video. Tesla, baby. Tesla doing it. Now, this is the crazy part. They dancing. They are freaking dancing. Now, look. The Tesla bot. I think it's called Optimus, something like that. It's going to be $25,000. Now, it's for mainly for, you know, warehousing and stuff like that. So, can you imagine the jobs that robot is going to take? Can you imagine the things it's going to do? Just say if you was a business owner, you had a warehouse, and you had 20 employees, um, and you needed to buy 20 Tesla robots. Right now, 20 times 25,000. Okay, I don't know the math for that, but when you got 20 employees, you got different things that could happen. You know, you got to pay insurance, they got sick time, they got vacation time, they got call ins, um, they can only work certain hours. Uh, you got the lights going and all that. When you got something like this, you can have. These things for twenty five thousand a pop, you can have the warehouse running twenty four seven with no lights on. I mean, you have, probably have some kind of camera system where you can see in the dark, but you have no lights on, no heat on, and these things is just mm, 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 mm. no lights on twenty four seven. So that's how. The, the, the robot world, the AI world was sort of giving advantage to business owners and people that own things. And like I said before, the difference between back then and now or in the future is we have robots now, right? So it'll probably be a robot that cut the grass. It's going to look like an alarm off, but with no seat on it, right? The dealerships or not the dealerships, the uh, the factories that make the cars, you know, they pick up the big windshield and it looked like a big ass arm eh, and it puts it right on the car. <sighs> Conveyor belt. <sighs> Next. It's just an arm. You, you only getting. There's no waste to it. Whatever's built is whatever the use is going to be. OK. When you have something like that Tesla bot that's looking at his hands like. You know, really don't understand what's going on. See, you see that as walking, you know, slow. Or you see that as, you know, the guy, the, the way it's walking, like, come on, I kick that shit ass. We ain't worried about that thing. See, I'm not looking at now. I'm looking at 10 years from now. Right. I see that thing doing cartwheels, backflips, hanging on a wall, whipping your ass. Did whipping anybody else ask what you, that you brought with it to beat that? 
and then going to just, you know, I don't know, drive off. That shit going to be able to drive. So what y'all don't understand now is you, you got to look in the future of this. I think Elon Musk said something to the fact that you would need a strobe light to see him, how fast these things going to be. And I don't know. It's like th this weird shit with Elon Musk, though. It sort of seemed like if he get everything he want, he would control space, right? Mars. He would have shit, a million Tesla bots all over the world, right? He have Tesla cars all over the world. And all he have to do is one day just flip a switch. And he basically control the world. I don't know. That's some dope shit to me. I don't know. That's just me. That's some dope shit. So. <clears throat> okay. Well, we. Uh, yes. Like I said, it's, it's slow and it's awkward now. But from what he's saying is, it's to replace people in a warehouse. Now, I want one. Mind you, it's going to be right here standing behind me when I get it. It's either going to be standing behind me or sitting on the couch right there. And I'm taking it everywhere with me. It's going to, I'm going to the supermarket. with. I'm going to Walmart. I'm going everywhere. I'm going to vote. All of that stuff with my Optimus. I would pay $25,000 for that. Now, a lot of people that I know, they said, nah, don't bring it around me. Don't do it. Don't you bring that shit around me. But what people don't understand is, we're not here yet. We will probably be here. Once they get here next to us and they start, and, and you over there messing with it and, and pushing and kicking and this thing sitting back like, I can really kill him and everybody in this house right now, my calculations say. You know what I'm saying? There is, it's a wrap. Once they get past the point of no return, I think they call that the, um, damn, the singularity. Now, what brings it to this point? Well, you're going to have hardware, which we just seen with the Tesla. And also Tesla deals with software too. But you got people that just deal with software when you got Google Minds, DeepMinds, and, and, and a couple other places. But when you have that 